Enough. Welcome back. It's the 14th. Welcome. Welcome. Empty council chambers. And everyone's favorite unsung hero, the magnificent Ashley Wright. Hello. Thank you for having me. Spell her name correctly, As please. A special guest today. Yeah, um, and, and uh, my colleagues know that I'm I'm not, I guess I am grumpy. I'm grumpy, a little grumpy this just morning. Just own it. So, just own your grumpiness. I'm a little grumpy, I'm not yeah. sure, but um, I okay. apologize. So I just have two comments, and then we'll turn to uh, the brains of the operation, you two. So I want to thank everyone for um, their involvement in this week's city council meeting. Um, the Art of Good Governance, not only communication, but public involvement. So thank you for your, for your comments. Please stay involved. And just a reminder that Justin Ono, our new city forester, starts on Monday. The 17th, please be patient with him as he comes up to speed with, uh, I mean, he's familiar with our village mm -hmm. and, our, and our tree canopy. He is an, he is a, an urban forester, uh, so, um, and he's, he's a local, but please be patient. Um, there's a huge backlog of, of issues he needs to deal with, so uh, work with him. I think you'll find him very approachable and, and intelligent, and uh, welcome, Justin. We're, we're, uh, we're happy that you're coming aboard, so what do you got? That's what you got? Okay. Um, speaking, I'll tear off of the forest stuff. So we had a urban forest management plan meeting this week up at uh, Vista Lobos in the community room. Thank you for everyone that came out. We're early, early, early in the process. So this was like the first community outreach meeting, mm -hmm. kind of like how we started the design traditions project where we had people around tables. What do you want to see as a community come out of this plan? So we're very early. We want people to get involved. Please come get involved, be civil. I was a little, it got honestly got off to a little bit of a rocky start. I think maybe, um, you know, hindsight, we can always do things better and like setting expectations for a meeting, but it did come around and I feel like we got a lot of really good information out of that meeting. So thank you for those that came. Um, we, as you mentioned, the council had a great meeting this week. We got really good direction on our housing element. So we're going to be back on August 1st at the city council with the final draft. And hopefully we'll turn around literally the day after that and fire it off to the state for the 90 day review of our draft housing elements. So kudos to Marnie and Catherine and the whole team. Um, but Marnie and Catherine really have been leading that charge for us and doing a fantastic job with a really heavy lift and a very heady topic. So thank you uh, for all the work that they've done on that. Um, the other thing I want to mention, uh, it was in the pine cone, uh, Mary Schley did a little piece on it. Those flock cameras, those are the license plate reading cameras that have been going up around town. Uh, as the pine cone article mentioned, we did hit pause on the installation of those. We heard from the community, we hit pause. It's one of those opportunities, Chip, you talk about on here sometimes, the vlog isn't just about celebrating everything we do right. It's also about owning what maybe we could have done better. Yep. Um, and that's one of, these, one of these situations where, you know, we hit pause, we're gonna meet you and I, and the chief and Bob, our public works director, are gonna meet today with the contractor around town and go look at some of those sites and see uh, if we really, really need all of them, if they could be put in different locations. So we'll keep everyone posted on what's going, but thanks for all the feedback um, and for letting us uh, sort of readjust the sales on that one. And we'll get the questions answered that, that the public had as well about what the cameras do and what mm -hmm. they don't do. Yep. Um, and that's what I got. I want to hear from Ashley because she usually has some pretty fun stuff. Oh, and, I do. And super fun department. Yeah, Always. she's got like all the positive stuff, and I, yeah. I'm not jealous, but I love that, and that's. Yes, I'm very, very, very lucky. Um, I just want to thanks to the Pops again. Um, they did a great job. We're so lucky to have them in our village for Fourth of July, and we're mm -hmm. going to be looking for other ways we can incorporate them into special events. And of course, I want to shout out to the VIPs. They've been doing a lot of heavy lifting for our special events, and they, we've got a great uh, calendar and chart with them. Um, and they you know, do our library walkthroughs, so thank you to the VIPs. Um, and a reminder to everybody, the Friends of the Library book sale is happening right now. It Ooh. started yesterday. So go up to the Youth Center, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and stock up on all of your books. Um, Saturday, tomorrow, um, the Carmel Crafts Guild will be in Devendorf Park celebrating their 60, 75th anniversary from 10 to 2. They'll include demonstrations on weaving and spinning and fabric dyeing. I've attended their meetings before, and they are an amazing group of people. So stop by Devendorf Park. Um, next week, third Thursday, um, we'll have the transducers playing, and it is our end of summer reading party for the library. We combined two of the most fun things together, reading and parties in the park. Reading um, and ice cream. Reading and we'll have, yes, there'll be Ooh. an ice cream Sunday bar, so oh my God. stop by the park next week. That's four to six. Um, and then, have you guys heard about this thing in August called Car Week? You guys know is, anything about that? Is it new? Um, yeah, yeah, so we're going to try some things out. Um, <laughs> 
I am joking, of course. Um, but our Car Week offerings this year will be Acura in the park on Tuesday at Devendorf Park. Um, they were a brand partner with uh, Concord on the Avenue, so that's a wonderful legacy that we're continuing. On Wednesday, we will have Concord for a cause, and that is um, electric vehicles, um, well, well, antique vehicles that have been um, converted to electric. Um, and then on Thursday, we have two small events. That's the Prancing Ponies event on Ocean Avenue and Devendorf Park. And then the Ferrari Owners Club will be on 7th and um, Dolores there um, between 7th and Ocean Avenue. And then we're getting a lot of inquiries about um, Home Crafters Marketplace, which is the Saturday before November. So if you know any crafters or makers or anything like that, tell them to come to our jurying, which will be August 30th at the Women's Club um, from 10 to 6. Not, or, that's all the fun things I have Ooh, for the next so fun. month or yeah. so. Yeah, I want. I mean, I really want to like shine the you light really on what you really want your job. <laughs> I really want your job. First of all, yes, I want to switch. But um, if that's not going to happen, then I just want to commend you on the the smaller events for for the car week. I think that's so so cool to have all these like more than just one event. If you want to go experience different types of cars, little little smaller sort of like bespoke unique events around town, that's so cool. And it's it seems so indicative of Carmel by the Sea to have very unique individual one-off thing. So kudos to yeah. you all for setting up these great events. And of course, the council has you know, embraced this experiment. So you know, maybe if it sticks, um, you know, these smaller events, multiple days, um, could be the new model. Mm -hmm. Right, and, and we're so lucky because all of the event organizers for Car Week that um, Leslie Fenton and I have been working with are, um, they understand what Carmel is looking for. They're always looking to improve events for our returning partners. And, you know, it's just really great to work with event organizers that want to do well by our village. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. They understand our village and our ethics. Ethics. Thanks. You've, made, you've cheered me up. Good. Thank you. Yeah, that's great, Chip. We hope you have a very happy day now. All right. Thank you for joining us as always. And thank you. Yeah, whatever. Kind of thank you. Yeah, yeah. And take, take good, good care. care. How about you? Take good care.